and here we go. So if Tennessee is going to put somebody out there in a the starting role they're usually going to throw in the mid 90s and Drew Beam is no different. Cruz is the leadoff guy and then he's followed by Tommy White. Trey Morgan is in the middle. He's had a nice College World Series three for seven three two. Ball. Good at bat for Dylan Cruz. Couple of foul balls and gets the walk. Three. At the letters and he is gone. Breaking pitch that came in high and settled in the glove and that was a strike according to David Savage. Ball. That one sailed all the way to the backstop. And Morgan that's going to get through. Slow jump for Cruz and the left fielder Dickey was playing shallow so he will stay at third base. Morgan is aboard with the first hit of the game and LSU got something cooking here in the first. And a line shot right at the shortstop both runners get back. You hit it from 375 to 375 you better shoot it out of a cannon because it is not going to fly there tonight. The bottom of the ninth in a Hattiesburg regional he's off and running this one is going to the gap it's going to get down. One run's going to come in. Morgan's going to be held on an RBI single from Beloso to make it one nothing Tigers. 2-2. Two -two. Oh. And Beloso was off. He had that little hesitation jump and he's now down at second base. And it worked out beautifully because it got away from Stark. 3-2. Got him. And Beam will strand a couple. How far can he go of the 15 appearances this year for Ackenhaus? And all 15 are, are out of the bullpen. And he's thrown just 22 in the third innings. Nahuna, the Kansas transfer, leads things off. Dickey's been outstanding in the middle. Griffin Merritt also having himself a good tournament. And a liner right at the shortstop. That's Thompson. <laughs> We've won every game you've been in. On the ground to third. That's Except White. That's it out to talk to people about that. And he reached out to his Tennessee coaches. They helped him with it. He dropped a whole bunch of weight. 2-2. Two -two. Oh, that was one of the better ones there at 81 and his third strikeout. Watch where she starts. Watch where she ends up. And this is why this one is so good. No, no, his back. His B-A-C-K first. Explained well to Savage to Cal Stark because it saw it got him. Beam three punch outs looking for his fourth and there it is a fastball by Pearson strikeout number four to Kyle's point Burtman was the man I mean the man from 84 to 01 with six national titles Palmineri won a title in 09 here's Cruz and that first pitch is smoked to center field Ainsley going back in the gap now to his left and he ran it down take away the wind and that would have been home run number 18. And TCU and Florida will meet tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Wake Forest is awaiting the winner of this one. The distance, 386. Griffin Merritt hits one on the line. That's going to get down, and a leadoff man is aboard. Merritt's ball off. His bat was 109. This one is popped up sky high and drifting towards, yes, the dugout. An excellent, uh -oh. excellent effort by Morgan. If he can't get it, nobody's going to get it. Good pitchers there, and he wanted to get better and better. And this is on the ground. Thompson, Dugas to first. They turn it. Jordan Thompson's one-year transition from last year to this year, he has turned himself into a really solid shortstop. Watch this turn right here. Watch how quick Dugas was with that left foot on the bag. Oh. There is that shot the other way. Kyle Peterson on his game right between Dugas, who has shifted, and Tommy White. And that double play looms large. He stole some like this. Oh. There is called the strike corner. three. And that ends the inning. 2-2 <laughs> to Morgan. He is gone. That is another strikeout, number five. Ben turns the headphones up to 11. <laughs> Every spinal tap, that's exactly what it is. Oh. Oh. oh, did he go? Yes, he did. That's a strikeout. Scott offered according to the third base umpire. Tell him. <laughs> that is three consecutive strikeouts for Nate Ackenhausen. Yeah, the bottom of the order struggled against Ackenhausen. Oh. Did not miss by much. Ackenhausen frustrated with that call. That's pretty good. Can a pitcher ask where it was? He didn't ask, he said. 2-2, and that's over the head of Thompson and into right center field. Time Got him. That one did hit him, and that'll Good send Ahuna down to second base. A grazing. 
going out is Thompson. He's called off. Look at where Cruz catches that ball. And Beloso hit that hard. He's two for two. It gets down in front of Scott. He slipped in front of him just as you said it, and that is a pop up to the third baseman. Just what we saw last night. Instead of going to first, Thompson ended up hitting it to third in the air. Jobert, this one is on the ground, and that will be more Ahuna and an easy double play. And there was some interest from MLB clubs as he grounds one of the shortstop, and he is thrown out. Swing and a miss. Boy, Nate Ackenhaus has been unbelievable for them. Six to eight steps to his right that time. He got jammed here. The first baseman got away from the back for a second. He got his foot down in time. Boy, Morgan thought about going after that ball. And then he sprinted back, and he felt for that bag with his foot. You see his footwork at the end. <laughs> yes, sir. Three. That's a strikeout. That's number seven. Eight strikeouts for Drew Beam. He's finished him with the fastball the last two times, too. Malaza was the fastball looking. Now Pearson, I, I think guys are so dialed up for that breaking ball right now. Trying to punch out the side. No. Liner. Oh. And that thing was smoked. Moore went over there, and it got on him quick. Well, Had to be another 100-plus off the bat. And Dylan Cruz is on base. Talk about an advantage. He's oh. off. Oh. The pitch out. Two down and a one nothing game. He chased, and that's it. Look at Bean bounce off the mound. In a game that you got to win if you want to stay alive here, as you take a look at the lines for both. Oh. Got him. Punch outs. Ackenhausen showing no signs of slowing down. He's going up and down, changing eye levels. Prime. Oh, he's in that out there. Savage didn't agree. It certainly looked a little bit like Stark leaned into that one. You guys just disagreed with yourselves. This one is driven to the gap in left, and that's going to send Pearson over there. He's not going to get it. Here goes Stark to third, and he is held there on the relay that was cut. There would have been a play, but it was cut deep into the outfield, second and third, and a bouncer. What a job. Gilbert's under it, and Ackenhausen will walk off having given up nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, no. The image of the popcorn spill now on the screen. Yeah, that was Ben. No, that's the belt <laughs> that you're wearing right now. Oh. 0-2, slap the other way, and this one is down the line and to the wall. Morgan to second ball picked up, and he will stand there. Lead off double. Where's your choke up and go the other way, guy, Eddie? There it is right there. The domesticated KP. We don't get to see this side of you a lot. Where can I? Where can you hide around here? We know it's in you. You can't. Early square, perfect bunt. Well, it may have gone foul. They field it, and they throw it. That will bring the run in, and Dugas will go to second. Zane Denton opted to pick the ball up, and it looked like it had a chance to go foul. It's 2 nothing Tigers. Shades of Jay Johnson actually being the head coach of Arizona the first time he came here to Omaha. Volunteer bullpen, he pulled that. That's ball four. Easy one for Drew Beam and yeah. a mistake from Jordan yeah. Thompson. Fundamentally not sound at all. The first time he was supposed to bunt towards first, he bunted towards third. Watch the bad head drop as he also stabs at the ball. Higher life. Joe Bear gets one on the ground. Slow roller, only one play for the first baseman, Burke, to keep it at two. Mound to Malazzo. Ball. AJ. And then the 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. An easy one for Burke. Look out. Base runner was right by him. And he's punched out there. So if that's it, Ackenhausen will leave and get a massive ovation from his teammates, given what he's done tonight. He is working with a great deal of pace, and he's ready there. He sticks the landing. It's a good pitch. I got him. A 1-2-3 inning. Two more strikeouts, and Ackenhausen is seeing innings he's never seen before and oftentimes as you all know on the road to winning a World Series title you need to get a performance yes. from the unexpected guy horn frogs yes he did boy 
That's pissing, pitching from Russell as he went with a rising fastball. It's all the above. I mean. <laughs> Hit hard on the ground. That's a nice job by Ahuna to stay down on it. Superstition. This is Tony Vitello in between innings when his team is just not scoring. Awaits the winner. Five. That hit him. Get it go. No swing. Got to check that first. And a hit batter, Blake Burke. And that is like the, the end for Ackenhausen. And you can see a lot of LSU folks starting to get ready to stand up. The call is confirmed. Hit by pitch. Batters rewarded first base. 2-2. Two -two. That's in there. That's a strikeout. Oh, four. Denton's at second. He rolls one slowly, then it will be Thompson, and he cannot make the play. Wow, they flipped them all night between short and second, depending on where the hitter was swinging from. Oh. One, two. Oh. Oh. Two down. And a squibber to first with all sorts of spin on it, but it works beautifully for LSU. Cooper is beside himself. Let's see if they can answer after stranding the bases loaded, and they may. That's a hit batter, so Morgan goes to first base. He's been on three times tonight. Lined out, struck out, reached on an arrow. Look out! Oh, no. hey, thankfully, he appears to be okay, but that one came high and tight, and that's going to... Sent him to first. One out, two and two pitch. And this one is beaten into the ground. Ahuna flips. Oh, he dropped it on the transfer. They will get the out at second base. They had a chance to do what Vitello wanted and get the double play. And he got plunked on the knee to load the bases. Third hit batter of the inning. Look out, that one gets by. That's going to bring the run in from third. I am literally shaking, so he went over, put his arm around Salento, and they had a laugh about it, and then he delivered the biggest hit, and then the 1-0. Slow roller back to the pitcher, and Sewell will fire, and he will be out. Paxton King is now in right field for LSU, and that is slapped down the third baseline, and a real good piece of hitting by Jared Dickey. And that's what the Vols need, base runners, and they got one here with Dickey on. I would be careful playing shallow. Double play ball here. Thompson, Dugas, and a scoop at first by Morgan. For the balls, here's Moore. This one is tagged pretty well. The left center field, and it is really deep, and it is off the base of the wall. Well, the double play was huge as Moore jumped all over it. His 13th double of the year, and he is at second base. He got jammed. Here comes Thompson again, and this time the shortstop played in second. Ball four. Good take. Here's Cruz. Been using it for about a decade. 0-2. Oh, 1-2. One, mm, that one was hung, and this one is shot to right field. That one is towards the wall, and it's over! The eyes, the cognition, and the bat speed. His eighth grade coach said, that guy can play varsity for me right now. Leaves the yard. Dylan Cruz, 18th of the year. Coverage on ESPN and Flyer there. White's gone. And this one in the hole is the first baseman missing it. The second baseman makes it. And Connell gets over there. That's a nice play right That's there. That's really good All range around. shot yeah. by Moore. That is. Playable if the left fielder Dickey can get there. He's coming hard. He can't. Right into no man's land. And for Beloso, his third hit of the night. Nightclub with Taylor Swift, which was refuted quickly. Denton to center field. Back goes Cruz. And he's there to make the play. One ball, two strikes on the way to Scott. Yes, sir, on the inside corner, strike three. Only a freshman on a 1-1. Pearson back, still going. Oh, he makes the catch on the track to end it. LSU stays alive, and they will meet Wake Forest tomorrow night.